We are making corn fritters right now in the kitchen. Tinky Weisblatt, the diva of deliciousness, is joining us. How are you? I'm great. How Thanks are you? Thanks for coming in. My it's, pleasure. It already smells so good. So well, corn fritters. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know about you, but I live alone, although I entertain a lot, but I tend to, I just am incapable of buying more than buying less th than two ears of corn. Oh, it's impossible. Or six, I feel like I or, always buy yeah. in bulk. The sales are always exactly. buying 12 it's for like, this amount. I, want, I, I buy a lot of corn and then I get home and it's like, well, there's even though I love it, there's only so much I can, so I, it goes in everything. So What to do with it? Fritters are always a good thing to do with it. And there are a lot of ways you can make fritters. I've made them with herbs. I've made them with cheese. I've made them with like spicy things. This is a very simple, so this is basic, basic recipe okay. from my neighbor, Alice. Hi, Alice. Oh, I was wondering where the name is. <laughs> Just celebrated, her, neighbor. just celebrated her 90th birthday. Wow, and happy birthday, Alice. Cook. So uh, you're going to get started while I monitor what's All on right. the stove. Okay, so we start with, I have separated some eggs. So okay. you're going to whisk the egg yolks. All right, whisking. And normally you would whisk them for a little while, but we're going to kind of cheat. Okay. And just move ahead. So we're going to add baking powder, salt, and pepper. All right, whisk baking, that in. baking powder, salt, and pepper, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. And just whisk a little bit more. I'm going to turn I'm my I'm a professional fritters. whisker. I can tell you're very good. Oh, my fingers <laughs> are looking adorable already. Look at that. It's like magic. So, prep time. How long typically? Well, you have to, I usually, after I finish, I, I usually already have the corn taken off the cob because okay. I do that okay. after I make it. Sure. So, this is, uh, well, you're, we're, we're going through the prep time. You have to, I did beat the egg whites already. Okay. But we're not going to do those yet. First, sure. you're going to add, so we're going to take away the whisk. Goodbye, whisk. Goodbye, whisk. Goodbye. Because if we start whisking in the flour, it'll get caught. So flour goes right. in, just a tiniest bit of flour. It's mostly you corn. You tell me when. The whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. Sorry, but it's a very small this amount of flour. This is the tiniest bit of flour. I have pre-measured the tiniest bit of flour. Okay. Then you're going to stir that with your spoon. All right. Then you're going to stir in our corn kernels. Ideally, the corn kernels are slightly undercooked, kind of al dente, but gotcha. we all have dinner parties where that doesn't work out. <laughs> so, you know, the corn is what it is. Yeah, right? exactly. You, know, you never corn. know how much corn is going right. to be in your house. Okay, corn in goes the corn. And you can see it's mostly corn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be kind of hard to stir the corn in, but you, I'm sure you will do it. It's all right. I think job. we can get through it. Yeah. It's just so kind of mix in the corn. And then we're going to put in the egg whites. Perfect. Which give it a little more liquidity. Otherwise, there's really very little liquid. So these were beaten egg whites. Those are beaten egg whites. Okay, perfect. they're stiff. All righty. So we're going to I didn't want to do it on camera because it always takes like 30 seconds longer than I think it's going to. <laughs> That's there. all right. So those go in. Perfect. And then you kind of just put those all together. Kind of mix them all gently, in. A little gently. Gently. Yes. I'll and go, like now I'll go with a more gentle hand. I've stove a lot. Okay. And then the, the decadent part of this recipe is that we're frying them in butter, and you do have to watch butter. It burns easily, but it gives sure. it this lovely, lovely, lovely it flavor. It smells delicious, too. Yeah, don't they smell good? All right. How simple is this? This is so I know. So it's really not hard. All right. And then I just uh, take my little scoop. I'll do one more. This is my pre-made. Sure. You don't have to use a scoop. You can use your fingers. You can use a spoon. A scoop makes it a little more even. So you can actually go right from the bowl to the pan. You don't right. have to refrigerate, nothing no, no, like no, that. No, no, no. And they're free form. Now, if you wanted to leave them for a little while, they would probably fluff up a little more because there's this chemistry thing going on with the egg whites. But you absolutely do not have to. Perfect. I wonder if they're nice ready. Nice and easy. Uh, How do you know when these corn fritters are ready? Just kind of by the look? They're a little crunchy on each side. They're brown on each side, and they and the, they they lift up. You know when to turn them when you can actually lift them up without having too much. I mean, there's always going to be a little corn detritus. Okay. But then you take all those little <laughs> kernels, and you just eat them because they're delicious. They have corn and butter. Now, you said that you got this from your neighbor, That's the recipe. Right. My lovely neighbor, Alice, who so, also plays So you piano. first tried this a while ago? Yes, like three years. And three then years said, ago. Oh, Alice, maybe we should do those corn fritters on Mass Appeal. Would Look you like to try that. one? Oh, you I would can love serve to try them one. the New England way oh. is to serve them with maple syrup, but this is the Viennese way. Viennese way? Oh, A fancy. little sour cream and dill. Sour cream and dill. Look at these. I hope they're done. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Tinky, thank you so much, oh, but don't pleasure. go anywhere. We are going to be back we with will. you. And we are going to be making some s'mores cupcakes. I don't even need to talk. You and Nick, Nick Bannon, you're getting one. <laughs> Nick, you are going to get a s'mores cupcake. Well, 